Hello guys, this is Wissam and again, but this time with the white Model S 75D. So what happened to my car? Well, I took my car to the service center in San Diego for some repairs and uh, I got this loaner, looks awesome. Uh, the white, the pearl white looks really nice, you know? So let me tell you a little bit about the story for why I had to go to the service center and let's get it started. So um, I had an appointment with Tesla uh, for some repairs. And again, this is not the first time I have to go to the service center. Um, uh, to be honest with you, most of the defects um, I've had with my P100D is related to finishing. So, for those who critique Tesla about like the finishing, um, I'm with you 100%. So, um, there are some finishing issues, which kind of makes it necessary sometimes to kind of go back, get them fixed, get a loaner, and come back. And this is not the first time, this is probably my third time. Now, I'm a little bit more picky um, or pickier than maybe the average guy, but that's just because of, you know, I like to have something uh, a little bit of a higher quality, so to speak. And um, the reason why I went today is for a couple reasons. Um, I had an issue with the trunk of uh, the Model S. And the um, problem is I, I lost some screws with the tripod and uh or some bolts bolts i don't know it's like there's something that you tighten um so that's because uh i have a, a subwoofer package so i have the high fidelity sound package and then i have the subwoofer in the corner and apparently the flooring you know is not actually uh fitted to block the entire area so i'm going to show you in the video how that looks the other thing is after the uh, the installation of the some deadening uh, in the B pillar, now I, I started getting some screeching sound. You know, uh, whenever you pull it at an angle, see this one doesn't make that. The main issue started when I was listening to some music with high bass, and uh, for whatever reason, you really get some vibration. Um, uh, in the door panel so once you play that type of music and uh, boom it starts vibrating I'm gonna post actually some tracks for you below the video you guys you're welcome to try them out I tried those tracks in two Model S's loaners and both of them uh, the front passenger side started to vibrate um, so uh, that shouldn't happen all right, that should not happen, especially in a premium sedan. And um, and to be honest with you, I had all of my uh, what do you call it, the equalizer settings all flat. So sometimes I even lower the bass a little bit below, just to try to um, minimize you know the distortion coming from the vibration. It sounds like a rattling sound from the door panels uh, where the speaker grills are. So it's just how Tesla makes their cars. Um, I wish like they had a better engineering done on those door panels where the speaker grills are. That would have made it um, sound better. Or I would say um, what they needed to do was to, um, you say, provide a better audio controls inside the MCU or the media control unit to basically uh, put more bass on the subwoofer and reduce the bass on the front speakers. Uh, just like when, what you can do with an AV receiver at home, so let's say you have a 5.1 system or 7.1 system at home, you can actually control the speaker setting um, uh, a little bit uh, in a finer detail. In the car, you can't do that. You have some equalizer setting across basically all the speakers. And you also have some um, balancing where you can shift things back for forward, um, sideways. But that is really basic stuff. So that's really basic stuff. 
I love the basically the surround mode, the high surround mode. That is awesome. But on the other hand, um, the vibration from the speaker girls is totally unacceptable. So uh, the service center people, they were really gracious. They spend like a lot of time trying to figure it out. I went to twice, like before even returning the loaner. So back, forth, back, forth. Um, and then they went above and beyond, as they put it um, to me, to try to fix the problem. So it lowered it a lot, like it lowered it a lot, but um, the side effect was uh, maybe some of the deadening material that they had to put. They basically insulated all the speakers. Um, so um, that helped a lot, but it didn't fix the problem 100%. So again, that's an engineering issue. Tesla should put more effort to fix it. And the screeching sound, hopefully they will fix it. Um, so my take on all of this, so quality issues, you know, um, uh, the other thing is the door handle. Um, so I had a boom sound uh, that was coming from the door handle. I replaced it before and um, and then they put a new one. After a while, the new one started to stick out, but it doesn't go back. And uh, you hear like a booming sound, boom, and then it kind of goes quiet. And um, what else? Yeah, so I started uh, pushing the door handle from the outside to try to kind of push it in. And then eventually it worked uh, because otherwise it would stay stuck outside and you hear the motor clicking. Um, the other thing is I started hearing some rattling sound coming from this side, like uh, front passenger side. And I didn't really where this sound was coming from, but to me it appeared like it was coming from the B pillar, you know? So again, I didn't know what was going on. Because the car is electric and there is no engine noise, you start to hear a lot of things inside the car. So on the plus side, it's a really quiet, um, I love it, there is no engine noise, um, so it gives you like this kind of like cocoon, feeling like you're, you're on your own or inside your own chamber, um, isolated from the road, uh, cruising forward, I love that, I really love how dead silent the Tesla is. But on the other hand, if there is anything that can make a sound, it will really become apparent inside the car. So any possible noise issues or something like that, you start to hear it, you know? So engineering wise, it, it's gotta be really perfect, you know? And I started hearing this thing, boom, 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 boom. You know, it's like, okay. And it only happens when you have um, like uh, really bad roads. And we have a lot in California you know, unfortunately, but uh, there's a lot of those bad roads. So you start to hear um, a lot of rattling sound coming. Um, so, uh, moral of the story, the technician jumped into the car. He recognized me, uh, I guess uh, he can tell probably by my accent or something like that. He was really a nice guy. He's like one of the youngest, brightest, uh, kind of like in technicians or mechanic. Uh, I've ever worked with so the guy is awesome so he uh, emptied all the stuff from the car he sat in the back seat behind me and he's like okay let me take you uh, there's some bad roads around the service center where you can uh, kind of test the car so for the first time I felt blessed to have some bad roads uh, that I can drive on at least I can pick up the noise which is uh, kind of sad and hilarious um, but uh, welcome to San Diego, you know So uh, we drove there and he's like boom. Yes, it's coming from the uh, uh, Front passenger uh, seat. He said the backrest um, It's kind of like playing a little bit uh, Wiggly or something and then maybe something loose is inside. So he said, you know what? Um, I think we need to have the car for service and uh he picked it up really fast. So I'm like, okay, um, you know, and I have the issue with the door handle. So what's the story? He checked it out. He said, most of the problems happen with the door handles is because the alignment is slightly off. So the motor doesn't, um, 
engaged the proper way and uh, the door handle gets caught somewhere and then you hear that boom sound which is the motor trying to bring it in you know so he said we have to realign it so I was like okay um, would it be possible to just kind of stay there for a few hours I had nothing going on today so I didn't mind the waiting but he said you know what I don't know how long it's gonna take we have to take the whole um, chair apart and then figure out what piece is missing maybe we need to order um, an item or something maybe we don't have it here so I hate to keep you waiting here for a few hours and then say sorry take the loaner so he said it's just better to get the loaner and uh, you know come back when the repairs are done um, so he was really nice like uh, all the people there they were nice they tried to help as much as they could um, I asked them about the problem with the steering wheel and um, they said well it's not covered under warranty it got scratched I was like okay I mean uh, honestly I don't know what scratched it uh, I have no clue so um, so at least it would be nice to know how did that happen so I kind of prevent it from getting worse um, but I was like whatever you know I asked about the price it cost about $790 to replace the steering wheel because you can't just have the leather you have to replace the whole thing so I was like man I mean uh, I can live with it so I don't have you know to replace this whole thing and who knows maybe it comes back again because again I don't know what caused it so it's kind of hard to figure out like how to prevent it from happening in the future but I was okay with that um, The finishing on the side let me show it to you so this is the model s 75d and as you can see it's really well aligned here so maybe it's just my car that got unlucky with the finishing or maybe the Tesla improved the finishing on newer cars because this one has a uh, 5,900 miles on it and um, so it looks really nice and on the other side it kind of looks the same so really nice finishing job so in the end is Tesla a perfect car nope it's not uh, one thing to keep in mind um, that you know Tesla is a new company and there is no way to compare them with other companies that have been in the business of manufacturing cars for decades you know that would be really unfair to Tesla um, the fact that this company in I don't know 10 years or so was able to pull off uh, this feat of engineering is uh, something really impressive and incredible I mean kudos to Elon Musk and the Tesla team for doing what they have done um, uh, so when I purchased my car I bought it with the expectation that um, there's not gonna be uh, like a perfect finishing like the German cars would have so if you really care about like perfection maybe Tesla is not the right car for you but uh, if you can kind of like look the other way a little bit about that um, Tesla is really a great car uh, I love the my the, the Model S so despite everything that happened um, I don't regret buying my Model S uh, I love it it's an awesome car uh, the acceleration is phenomenal guys like it's really cool and you get the software updates the support is really good service center is great um, and keeps getting better and better you know like where would you buy a car that would um, you know have all those features you know and uh, and you know 
quality wise it's gonna get better so if you are planning to buy a car right now it's gonna be better than when I bought it like six six months ago and it was even manufactured six months before that so it was uh, it's like over a year ago and uh, so I'd like to support Tesla I definitely support their mission to move the world to sustainable energy and transportation um, and that's why I, I bought my car and uh, I would encourage people to, to go Tesla way uh, because uh, it's clean um, there's no pollution whatsoever I love the clean air I really do um, uh, can they do better I wish uh, especially when it comes to um, sound quality you know here's my thing so instead of spending all this time doing those uh, I don't know Atari games and some some stupid stuff uh, I'm just gonna say it uh, flat uh, out loud it would be really nice if uh, maybe we can have a um, kind of like a little bit better uh, voice recognition better um, navigation better sound you know I think that's uh, a good cause or a good goal to work on all right guys that was all the uh, stuff I wanted to talk to you about um, if you have any questions or comments drop them in the comment section below um, if you kind of like to follow my news and um, whatever I get with my Tesla don't forget to subscribe to the channel till then take care and peace